this vacant 3d orbital it feels very lone it it feels very lonely because everything has at least one electron but this poor guy has no electrons so actually the electronic configuration of of chromium is we remove a, remove an electron from 4s and we give it to this lonely guy so now you can see that all the orbitals have at least one electron so this is a much more stable electronic configure configuration than leaving that one orbital empty so chromium and copper are the only exceptions for this case so therefore the electronic configuration of chromium will become 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 3d5 4s1 yeah so this is this is what it becomes now okay so we would we would we, for, so first what we got was 3d4 4s2 but 3d5 4s1 is much stable than 3d4 4s2 and that is why this is the correct configuration of chromium so chromium and copper are the only exceptions which have something like this Other, others will use the rule that you've been taught right, right now now when we look at copper it has 29 electrons so out of these 29 first we'll fill i'm sorry about that first we'll fill 2 in 1s so now we are left with 27 then we left we we'll fill 2 in 2s so we are left with 25 now we come to 2p 1 2 and 3 now we are left with 22 then 1 2 and 3 now we are left with 19 and we come to 3s now we are left with 17 come to 3p 1 2 3 now we are left with 14 and 1 2 3 now we are left with 11 now we come to 4s because 4s fills before 3d so We are left with nine. Now we come to three D, because three D fills after four S always. So three D, two, one, two, three, four, five. We have half filled all of them. Now we'll start filling them. So we are left with four electrons now. So one, two, three, and four. So. now this would well, this is what we would think would be the actual electronic configuration for copper however we will uh, however if you see if you look at the 3d subshell this last guy he is never happy as you know it so this last guy is thinking that all the other 3d orbitals have two electrons whereas i am alone so what it does is it will take one electron from 4s and it will get it over here so now you can see that the 3d is completely full so that's why we'll have for copper the electronic configuration becomes 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s1 no sorry not 4s1 uh, we'll write we'll fill 3d later but we'll write it before 4s yeah So three D ten and four S one. So this is how we write the electronic configuration of copper. Yeah. So we are done with this as well. So the chromium and copper, remember, they are the only exceptions. And now we can move forward. So if you see the the names of the the subshells S P D and F. Now we have these names. because if you look at this block of the periodic table this block is what i'm talking about this is called the s block why is it called the s block because in this block the outermost electrons are in the s subshell that's why it's called the s block then this block which is this block this block is called the p block because the outermost electrons are in the p subshell 
then this block is called the D block because the, out, the outermost selection